okay in straight lines we have to do the first exercise now before the first exercise all solved problems we have completed yesterday we have to start the first exercise 3a so let us start it is a very easy exercise i think uh, i think you can uh, complete all the problems very easily but uh, i'll do some problems starting from the end of the exercise so exercise three exercise three a so i'll start from the end so first roman second roman third roman last problem <laughs> i'll do it third roman last problem number 4 He has given the three vertices of a triangle. I directly draw the diagram. Three vertices of the triangle ABC are given. A is ten comma four. B is minus four nine. C is minus two minus one. Are the vertices of a triangle? Find the equations of AB. Number one, AB. AB and has put an arrow mark, double arrow like this. That means line AB. Equation of the line AB. Number two. The median through A the median through A and lastly no, sorry third one the altitude through A The altitude through A next uh, number four. This is third one. Number four. The perpendicular bisector of uh, side AB. The perpendicular. Bisector of. Side AB. So these are the things needed. Okay, the perpendicular bisector of the side AB. So first problem. Uh, who will help me in doing it? Shortcut method. First bit shortcut method. Who is going to help me? Shilpita, are you there in the class? Yes, sir. So, first two problem is equation of the line AB. You can see in the diagram, A is ten comma four, B is minus four comma nine. Shortcut method. Uh, can you tell me what is the shortcut method? What is the difference of y coordinates? Sir, Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I am asking Silpita. Let let her correct herself. What is the wh what is the wait wait? What is the difference of y coordinates? Silpita, five comma. What is the difference of x coordinates in the opposite direction? Minus. 
Why you are telling uh, Angli, huh? So, uh, can you see the diagram on the board? Yes, sir. Uh, then why difference of y coordinates like this arrow? All this in mind only. Then uh, difference of uh, x coordinates in the opposite direction. What is it? Come on. After that, any common factor is there? Uh, so the line equation starts with what? That's all. Uh, you substitute one of the points. Which point you are going to substitute? Is equal to k. K in the mind only. Leave some gap here. Leave some gap here and write is equal to. That gap is for the constant which is coming from the right to left. Okay. Uh, come on. Which point you are substituting? Huh? A, uh, A means uh, come on, ten comma four. Uh, five into ten. Five into ten. How much? Fifty. Fifty. Fifty plus. Ten. Fifty-six. Fourteen into four. Fifty-six. Is equal to how much? Huh? Huh? On the right side, left side. Minus is equal to. Is equal to zero. Also, you have to tell. Don't neglect it. Okay, right. So that's all. Or just we have written the equation shortcut method. But uh, in intermediate exam, if you write it like this, so we will we will get zero marks. Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, fifty percent only because you have written the correct answer. You may get fifty percent of the mark. You have to work out. Okay, two point formula. Ah, uh, you have to write x one y one. This is x two y two. Two point formula substituting. So all this you have to write, and finally you have to get the answer. Okay, in intermediate exam this is not allowed. This is only for objective type of exams. Okay, now Tanmay, are you ready? So second question. Second question. Uh, she wants the median through A. Median through A means A must be joined to which point? Sir, midpoint of BC, sir. So let us first to calculate midpoint of BC. So here midpoint of BC say D. These two are equal. Uh, come on, what is the formula for midpoint of uh, two points? Correct. Come on. Ah, come on. Using that, what is the midpoint? Tell me. Minus three comma four. Correct. That is correct. Because minus four minus two by two, that is minus three. Nine minus one by two, that is four. Correct. Now median means the line AD. Is it not? This line AD is called median. Yes. Now again, let us use shortcut method. What is the difference of uh, x coordinates? Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Difference of y coordinates first. Okay. So, what is the difference of y coordinates of A and D? Zero. Uh, okay. So, shortcut method. Can you tell the answer? See by see by seeing the points carefully. Can you tell the answer? Ten comma four and minus three comma four. Straight line. What is its equation? What is the equation of the line AD? Ah, so wait. Tanmay, Tanmay has to answer me. Nobody else. X is equal to four, or y is equal to four. Then my four is y coordinate, x coordinate. Then my why are why are saying x is equal to four? Come on, tell me the correct answer finally. 
this type of problems we have done in the class only see tanmay 2 comma 10 2 comma 10 2 comma 100 what is the equation come on uh, 2 comma 10 2000 comma 10 what is the line joining them so this type of problems i have already completed in the class so this line median is nothing but y is equal to 4 or y minus 4 equal to 0 very easily because y coordinate you can see that they are equal so the line is y equal to 4 y equal to 4 is parallel to x axis or y axis Tanmay. y is equal to 4 is a line parallel to x axis or y axis x -axis, sir. above or below x axis at how, how far away? How far away from x axis? Sir, four units, sir. Four units, correct. Right. So that is over. Now let us see the altitude. So I'll uh, go to the next page and draw the diagram again to find the other two bits. Okay. Let us go forward. I am drawing the diagram again A, B, C ok A is 10 comma 4 B is minus 4 comma 9 C is minus 2 minus uh, sorry minus 2 minus 1 uh, next to third bit is third bit is let us go back and see what is the third bit altitude through a i have written not i have written wrongly actually in the book altitude through b uh, the question is altitude through b is asked okay ah, okay what is altitude through b from b to the opposite side ac we have to drop a perpendicular okay so from the point B, from the vertex B to the opposite side AC, I have drawn a perpendicular. Let the foot of the perpendicular be some point E, this point. So this is altitude. We can now extend it if you want. This is a line. So this line's equation he wants. See, this line is perpendicular to AC. Is it not? This line is perpendicular to the line AC. Now, first to tell somebody tell me, Sai Vardhan, please tell me the slope of the line AC. Slope of line AC is equal to. Uh, come on, first. Uh, come on, tell, tell the formula first. Okay. So, this is uh, x1, y1, suppose and this is x2 y2 a and c then tell me what is y2 minus y1 five, sir. Ah, come on tell me that okay, sir. Four, minus of minus one. 4 minus of minus 1 4 plus 1 divided by, divided by uh, 10, minus 10, plus two, sir. 10 minus of minus 2 10 plus 2 5 by how much 12, sir. no common factors is it not so, uh, if the slope of the line is AC, what is the slope of uh, line BE? Minus 12 by 5. Because line BE is just perpendicular to it. So, uh, tell me what is the correct value? Minus 12 by 5. Minus 12 by 5. If the slope is minus 12 by 5, I have given a shortcut method. Or otherwise, let us use point slope form. Equation of altitude BE. Slope is minus 12 by 5. I'll write it here on the line BE. Slope M is minus 12 by 5. Point is minus 4, 9. It is passing through the point 
so x1 y1 point is wait wait so x1 y1 point is minus 4 nine slope m is minus 12 by 5 so point slope form tell the formula for point slope form saivardhan uh, saivardhan All right. Now I'll uh, come to here. Uh, next, y minus y one means what? Wrong. Wrong. Don't tell me wrong. Uh, y minus nine is equal to. Is equal to what? M. M is what? Into in the bracket x minus what? x minus minus 4 so x plus 4 multiply by 5 they tell me right right side expand it minus 12 x x right side expand it I told you so come on bring all the terms to left hand side and write it in the form a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 plus 3 is equal to 0 correct this is the altitude through B so lastly he has asked the perpendicular bisector of AB also so let us go forward and write another diagram and find the last one perpendicular bisector of AB A B C A is 10 comma 4 B is minus 4 comma 9 and C is minus 2 minus 1 ok now he wants the perpendicular bisector of bisector of which side side AB right Prabhas Prabhas, are you there? Yes, sir. Ah, perpendicular bisector of AB means first we have to find the find what? Midpoint of AB. Midpoint of? Midpoint of, AB. Midpoint of AB, let us call it F. So I'll uh, show that these two are equal. Now come on, tell me what is uh, F? What are the coordinates of F? Come on. Why you are taking so much time? Because of the internet problem or, or what? I don't know. So 10 minus 4 by 2, 6 by 2, 3, 4 plus 9 by 2, 13 by 2. And there we have to draw the perpendicular line to AB, is it not? Right. Yes. This is the perpendicular bisector. To find the slope of the perpendicular bisector, or this line, first we have to find the slope of what? Uh, slope of AB. Come on, tell the formula first. Okay, I'll write here x1, y1 here, or otherwise uh, x2, y2 here. A is x1, y1. Okay, A is x1, y1, B is x2, y2. Uh, using this, uh, tell me what is y1 minus y2? y2 minus y1? 9 minus 4. Uh, okay, x2 minus x1? Minus 4 minus 10. 9 minus 4 minus 4 minus 10. So 5 by minus 18. No common factors. Okay, so this is... Minus 4, minus 10. Okay. Minus 4, minus 10. 
9 minus 4 by minus 4 minus 10. 5 by minus 14. Okay. So, minus 5 by 14. Okay. Uh, if that is the slope of AB, what is the slope of perpendicular bisector? Slope of perpendicular bisector of AB. So, 14 by 5. So, that the product is minus 1. Perpendicular lines so slope product is always minus 1. So, this is 14 by 5. Slope is 14 by 5 and point is the midpoint F. So, point slope form. X1, Y1 point is 3 comma 13 by 2. Slope M is 14 by 5. Uh, come on, tell me. Prabhas, first to tell the formula of point slope form. m into x minus x1. Now come on, substitute y minus what? Y minus is equal to? So, multiply by 10 because 2 here on the left hand side denominator, 5 on the right side, the LCM is 10. So, multiply by 10, what happens? 10 by? Uh, is equal to twenty eight x twenty eight into three. How much? Minus eighty four. Okay, let us bring all the term. Let us take all the terms to the right side and tell the answer. All goes to right side. Come on, all terms go to the right side. Minus 19. Okay. Plus 65 minus 84. 19. Minus 19 is equal to 0. So, that is the perpendicular bisector. Is the answer correct, Tanmay? Yes. Okay. You have seen the textbook answer? Textbook. Textbook answer, please which verify, uh, tell me whether it is correct or not. Right. So, this way you can complete the exercise. So, in one of the problems, so third Roman, third question, Show that the following sets of points are collinear and find the equation of the line. So, third bit has given like this. So, by just by seeing the points, you can say that they are collinear. How? Anybody? Answer? These are the points given. Just by seeing the points, we can tell that the three points are collinear. And we can find the equation of the line. How? Anybody? No slope. What is the sum here? What is the sum of these two? What is the sum here? What is the sum here? Uh, so, what is the equation of the line? Yesterday we have seen and again you are 1 comma 5, 2 comma 4, what is the equation of the line? Come on, Madhuri. Because their sum is 6. So, 10 comma minus 1 and 5 comma 4, what is the equation of the line? X plus Y is equal to? 9. A comma B, B comma A. What is the equation of the line? Uh, now, this problem, actual problem. 
Uh, actual problem, we have, we have to show that the three points are collinear. So, first find the equation of this line, line joining these two points. What is the equation of the line joining these two points? Come on. Madhuri. What is the equation of the line joining the first point and second point? In that uh, the equation third point is uh, satisfying. If you substitute the third point, will it, will it satisfy? Huh? Yes. Third point if you substitute it is getting satisfied. So that means the three points are on the line x plus y is equal to a plus b plus c. That's all. Okay. So let us uh, go to the next uh, item. Next. So remaining problems in the exercise you have to complete. So I'll go to the next topic. Normal form. Straight line different forms we have seen already. Point slope form. Intercept form. What is point slope form? Tell me. Y minus Y1 is equal to what? M into X minus X1. What is intercept form? Come on. What is the two point form? Okay. Point slope form. Uh, slope intercept form. What is slope intercept form? Come on, what is slo slope intercept form? Tell me. In that, what is slope? What is C? C, Y intercept or X intercept? Y intercept. Slope intercept form means slope Y intercept form, not X intercept. So these are the forms we have seen already, but there are some more important forms of the straight line that only we are going to discuss now. The next important form is normal form. After that, symmetric form also important. These two we are going to uh, discuss. Let us start with uh, normal form of a straight line. Let us remove this. Okay. Normal form or perpendicular form? Normal form or we can say perpendicular form also. So first I will explain, then we will derive the formula of the straight line in the normal form. What is meant by normal form? I will explain. Okay. Say to define the straight line in the plane, some information about the straight line must be given. Is it not? The straight line is passing through so and so point. It is having so and so slope. That means direction slope will give the direction in uh, which direction the line is going okay so point slope or it is making four units intercept on the x axis five units intercept on the y axis something like that must be given here what is given in the normal form is see first i'll draw the diagram and explain this is x axis this is y axis. Okay. Some straight line is there. Let us draw the straight line in a different color. Okay. Some straight line is there in the plane. Okay. Now, the information about the straight line is given like this. From the origin, from the origin, we drop a perpendicular to the line. Okay. This is 90 degrees 
and let the foot of the perpendicular be some a point a and uh, we will extend this line only one direction we don't extend it backward this is band we should not extend it only in the direction of the line we will extend it that is called a ray I will remove this. Backwards I will remove. I have removed. Okay, I am drawing the line again. So, from the origin we have dropped a perpendicular to the line and extended it. And in only one direction. Okay, I will draw the line again. Up to infinity. Okay, this is called a ray perpendicular perpendicular ray from the origin to the line or we say also say normal perpendicular is also called normal normal from origin to the line towards the line Okay, we don't test. This is called a ray. In the plane, if you take a point and uh, you take a half line, this is also called half line. Half line or ray. Only one direction. If the line goes bo in both directions up to infinity, A and B are two points, then we call it, we denote it by the symbol AB double double arrow on the on AB that means line AB it goes in both the directions suppose A is one point here B is another point AB we have joined and we have extended in only wide one direction then we will indicate by li writing like this only one side arrow we put don't put double side arrow only say so this is called ray AB a ray has only one end point, other side it is goes it goes up to infinity. But whereas a line goes on both sides to infinity. Okay, leave it. Come to the actual problem. So from the origin to the line we have dropped a normal ray. Okay. So what information given is the angle, the inclination of the angle. Sorry, the inclination of the normal ray is given. Means, inclination means what? From the positive direction of x axis up to the normal ray. This angle, alpha, it is called the inclination of the what? Normal ray. It is not the inclination of the pink line. The line is actually here, pink color. It is intersecting the x axis here at this point okay line's inclination is this angle okay line's inclination is this angle that is different that is the inclination of the line and uh, if that angle is theta then tan theta is called slope of the line so no we are not considering that leave it Okay, this also let us leave it. Okay, now we are giving the inclination of the normal ray. So, inclination of the normal ray is alpha as shown in the diagram. Okay, so inclination of the normal ray is alpha and slope of the normal ray is tan alpha actually. So, this alpha is given and also the perpendicular distance from the origin to the line that is OA is also given P. So, alpha and P are given that is all. We have to find the equation of the line. Okay? Alpha and P are given. We have to find the equation of the line. The angle made by the normal ray which is drawn from the origin towards the line B 
with the positive direction of the x axis is given that is alpha and uh, how far away the line is from the origin that is the distance oa as shown in the diagram uh, let us call it p that is also given that's all okay how to find the equation of the line okay so here <coughs> huh I am not able to understand what you are saying. Please. Ah, to be found the equation of the pink line. Not the ray. Not the equation of the ray. Okay. Pink line equation we have to find. Not the equation of the normal ray. But about the line some information should be given. Is it not? Is it not? To find the Prabhas. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. To find, suppose you want a person, so you will, uh, you want to find him, you want to find his address. So somebody will tell you, go in this direction, go in this direction, at about 200 meters away, his house is there, he may be there. Like that, here also, so, uh, our imaginary brother, brother is at the origin. Our imaginary, imagine like this, our imaginary brother is at the origin. He is asking the line. Uh, he, asking, he is asking the origin. Say, I want the pink line. Can you tell your, uh, the pink line's address? The origin is showing the direction. The normal direction. Go in this direction. Okay. It is giving this direction by saying the angle alpha. By giving the angle alpha, we are... The origin is showing you the direction. In that direction, how far should I go? The imaginary brother has asked. Go to a, by a direction, by length of P units. In this direction, you go 200 meters, like that. So, in the direction of an angle, direction of the line making an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis, you start from the origin and go. How far? P units. Then you will be on the line. The line will be just perpendicular to this normal ray. Understood, Prabhas? Yes, sir. Start from the origin, go in a particular direction, making an angle alpha. How far? P units. Then you will be standing on the line. Okay. So from origin, here we have gone p units in a particular direction you have stopped there you are on the line where is the line prove that point several lines are there what is that line the line perpendicular to perpendicular to this line only understood from the origin to a you have traveled for oa perpendicular line is the required line understood so this information is enough to locate that line so, how do you find the equation of the line? So, I will go forward and uh, draw the diagram again and uh, find the equation. Okay. So, the, uh, draw the pink line again. Okay, this is the line whose equation we have to find out, the pink line. So, origin is here. Uh, from origin, we have dropped a perpendicular to the pink line and extended it. Only one direction. This is called, this point is named A. This is called normal ray. Normal means perpendicular. Perpendicular ray from the origin to the given line. The o distance OA is P. Okay, so how to find the equation of this line? See, <coughs> we'll use the point slope form and find the equation of the line. See, it point slope form, and that means we have to find this point which is on the line, its coordinates we are going to find out, and uh, 
the line's inclination we have to find out. The line is meeting the x-axis here at B, suppose. What is its inclination? From the positive direction up to the line, this angle is called inclination. What is its value? If this value is alpha, what is that value, Prabhas? You can easily tell. Say what? See, are you seeing the diagram? Sir, o what I am asking, what you are telling? You are sleeping. Huh? What I am asking, you are. I am. See in the diagram. Yes, the inclination of the line. Are you seeing here? Ninety plus alpha. Uh, 90 plus alpha. Because, see, if any triangle is there, if you extend one side, what is that exterior angle equal to? Interior opposite angle, sum of the interior opposite angles. Theta is equal to alpha plus beta. The exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles. So here the exterior angle, this angle, I am showing this angle, this angle, is equal to what? OAB is the triangle. Triangle OAB. OB side is extended. The exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles. Here 90 at A. Here alpha. 90 plus alpha. So now tell me what is the inclination of the line, pink line? Prabhas? I am asking the inclination, not slope. Please hear my questions carefully and answer. I will be repeating the questions because others also have to, have to understand. Not only you. Okay. So, okay. What is the inclination of the line? Uh, pink line. What is the slope of this pink, pink, pink line? Very good. So I am uh, taking this line, putting an arrow here, inclination is equal to 90 plus alpha, slope m is equal to tan 90 plus alpha. What is tan 90 plus alpha? Uh, tan becomes cot and second quadrant uh, tan is negative. So minus cot alpha. Right. Slope m we have found out. Then we have to find a point on the line. Point A, see the diagram, point A is on the line. So we have to find its coordinates. From A we drop a perpendicular to x axis. Okay. So, A's coordinates are X coordinate is OM, Y coordinate is MA. Everybody agrees or not? From A, if you drop a perpendicular to X axis, M is the foot of the perpendicular. So, coordinates of A are OM, this OM, comma MA. Okay, this MA. But uh, in the right angle triangle, triangle OAM. What is uh, cos alpha, Prabhas? OM by OA. But OA is given. What is its value? P. Therefore, implies what is OM? P cos alpha. Similarly, what is sin alpha from the same triangle? AM by OA. AM by OA. But OA is P. So AM by P. Therefore, what is uh, AM? P sin alpha. P sin alpha. So here, coming here, A. 
what are the coordinates of a tell me what is om come on ah uh, come on tell the coordinates of o, a p cos alpha comma p sin alpha so we have so we have found the point found a point on the line so yes coordinates we have found p cos alpha p sin alpha and its slope also we have found that is minus cot alpha so let us go forward point x1 y1 p cos alpha p sin alpha on the line slope m cot alpha so so cot alpha or minus cot alpha minus cot alpha okay now to find the equation of the line point slope form formula tell me somebody ah now substitute the values y minus come on p sin alpha p sin alpha is equal to minus cot alpha i'll write it as minus cos alpha by sin alpha okay yes, ah next x minus what x minus p cos alpha p cos alpha now multiply by sin alpha y sin alpha minus p sin square alpha right side expand it minus cos alpha into x means minus x cos alpha next minus minus plus plus p cos square alpha x and y terms to the left side constant to the right side so underlined terms to the left side so minus x cos alpha comes to the left side so x cos alpha x cos alpha minus x cos alpha comes to the left side x cos plus y sin alpha already there right side minus p sin square alpha will go to the right side so p sin square alpha plus already existing p cos square alpha so right side p common in the bracket you get sin square alpha plus cos square alpha which is equal to 1 so finally it is p so this is the normal form x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p here what is p prabhas perpendicular distance from the origin to the line that is p what is alpha it is the inclination of A line, the inclination of the line are the normal ray. Which which one is correct? Is it the inclination of inclination of the normal ray? Inclination of the normal ray drawn from the origin towards the line. Okay, so that is alpha. So this is the called the normal form. Okay, let us go forward. what is the time let me see so let me have some water i feel thirsty let me have some water see uh, students please see this uh, normal form this is very important form x cos alpha plus y sin alpha 
is equal to p here the important condition is p must be positive because it is the distance from the origin to the line distance from the origin to the line must be positive only not negative so p must be positive that is very important condition okay let us see some examples of the line ah uh, who is the speaking ah uh, tell me Uh, please try and send the solution to me huh yes sir please uh, try try in different ways and uh, you can send it to me okay yes, sir. right okay <coughs> now as you can uh, find it in intercept form also okay right uh, now uh, what i am telling is very important please listen carefully all students uh p must be positive that is important and alpha p is the distance from the origin to the line okay but alpha is not the inclination of the line remember it is the inclination of the normal ray from the origin you drop a perpendicular to the line towards the line and extend it up to infinity in only one direction that line makes what angle with the positive direction of x axis in the anti clockwise direction that is called alpha okay right okay um, let us see the some example to understand the normal form better okay x cos 20 degrees plus first example y sin 20 degrees is equal to 5 okay so how to locate this line geometrically geometrically i have given you what uh, geometry box that is set square protractor uh, everything i have given geometric box i have given i have given white paper board everything so geometrically how do you locate come on tell me what do you have to do tell me prabhas what is the what is the angle alpha here so here we have to through the origin we have to draw a line making an angle 20 degrees 20 degrees means i have asked you questions here prabhas above or below above or below 20 degrees above or below which uh, which line is correct above, above. anti clockwise direction from the x axis up to the line 20 degrees in the anti clockwise direction okay so above line is correct not below line if it is if it is minus 20 degrees alpha is minus 20 degrees then below line will be correct alpha is plus 20 degrees above line is correct okay prabhas i'll remove this below line so i'll draw the diagram again so i have drawn a line making 20 degrees above x axis i am at origin prabhas imagine that you are at the origin so on this ray you have to go how far you should go five units, five units. correct that is correct on this line starting from the origin you have to travel like this like this you have to travel how far just to five units stop there stop there it is just like finding an address unknown address we have gone somewhere somebody told go in this direction about 200 meters you go stop there now okay okay we have stopped there so through that point several lines are passing that is a busy junction okay that is a busy junction several lines are passing the board is not responding okay so through that point several lines okay where has it gone
where has it gone amma jaya jaya ah maun kar raha hai అక్కడికి వెళ్ళిపోయింది నా బోర్డు అక్కడ ఎగ్జిట్ ఇది వచ్చింది ఇందాక రెస్పాండ్ అవ్వకపోతే బాత్తున్నాం బాత్తుంటే పోతుంది అక్కడికి అంత పాత వచ్చిందమ్మా ఇవన్నీ పాత డిలీట్ చేసి కొత్త స్టార్ట్ చేసాం ఇదంతా అయిపోయింది ఇవన్నీ తీసి కొత్తది స్టార్ట్ చేశాను నేను మరి ఏది ఇదేనా ఇంకా ఓకే వాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఈక్వేషన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు గివెన్ యూ ప్రభాస్ ఎక్స్ కాస్ కాదు ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్ కాస్ ట్వంటీ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ హౌ మచ్ ఫైవ్ ఓకే so here alpha is 20 degrees and p is 5 alpha is 20 degrees and p is 5 so to locate this line in the xy plane what we have to do is first we have to use 20 degrees plus 20 degrees so above x axis i have to draw a line so in this direction i have to go starting from the origin how many units p units five units i have to go so i have traveled on this line and located the point a which is at a distance 5 units from the origin that means oa is equal to 5 then uh, uh, how do you get the line prabhas finally there by drawing the perpendicular of oa passing through a a line must be drawn through a perpendicular to a so this is the line x cos alpha plus y 
x cos 20 plus y sin 20 is equal to 5. Okay, number 2. x cos um, x cos 135 degrees plus y sin 135 degrees is equal to 10. So, what should I do, Prabhas? First, so that means the ray will power will be in which quadrant? Quadrant 2. So, from A, from origin O, I have to draw a line making an angle 135 degrees with the positive direction of x axis. This is 135 degrees. I have to draw this line. This is the normal ray. Okay, because alpha is 135 here. So, in this direction I must go what distance, Prabhas? 10 units, 10, that is P, distance from the origin, so 10 units. In the first example only 5 units, now 10 units, so somewhere here. There you locate the point A, OA is 10. Then what I have to do Prabhas there? Passing through A, we have to draw a line like this perpendicular to A. So, this is the line x cos 135 plus y sin 135 is equal to 10. Now, Tanmayi, will you answer my questions? Are you there in the class? Yes. Are you there? Yes, sir. Ah, now, third quadrant angle, some angle tell me x cos, some angle tell me, we must go in the third quadrant. Sir, x cos 2 not 5, sir. x cos 2 not 5, sir. 2 not 5 degrees, very good. Uh, plus y sin 2 not 5. Uh, distance, positive distance, p must be always positive. Say some number, okay. Sir, 12, sir. Huh? Uh, now, how do you locate this line in the xy plane? Uh, come on, first we have to use 205 degrees. 205 means with x axis positive direction 205. That means this whole angle is 205. Means this angle is how much? Tanmayi. 25, correct. So, up to here it is 180 plus another 25, 205. This is origin. So, starting from origin in this direction up to infinity, this is called ray, normal ray. So, in this direction, how far should we go? Tanmay, how far should we go in this direction? No, no. P, P units. What is your P? How many units? So, 12 units you have to travel. There you have to stop. That point is A, OA is 12. There what you have to do now? To OA. Passing through A. Perpendicular line to OA, passing through OA. Then what is the equation of this line, Tanmay? Come on, tell. Okay, now Madhuri will help me. Madhuri, yes, uh, tell me some angle uh, uh, in the fourth quadrant. X cos more than two. Three degrees, X cos three. Three. three Very good. Uh, plus y sign. Three twenty uh, How far you want to go? Positive number you have to tell. Negative, negative numbers are not allowed. Okay. Tell me some irrational number. Root 3, sir. Very good. You are a fan of root 3. I am also a fan of root 3. Okay. Right. So, this is uh, x-axis and y-axis. 
now first we have to use 320 degrees so 320 degrees that means from here from the positive direction of x axis in the anti clockwise direction you have to measure the angle up to here that is 320 degrees you have given that means this angle is how much Th madhuri 50 degrees. Huh? 50 degrees 40 degrees only this one because 320 degrees is same as minus 40 degrees minus 40 also you will be there only and now this is origin this is the normal ray going to infinity uh, on this line starting from origin how far you have to go root 3 units, root three units because you said p is root 3 so root 3 units you go there you get a point a oa is equal to root 3 uh, then afterwards finally what you have to do there Uh, perpendicular line to what and passing through what? Tell me clearly. Perpendicular line passing through itself. Perpend no, no, not all that. Perpendicular to OA. Perpendicular to OA we have to draw and passing through A. That's all. The line must pass through A and it must be perpendicular to OA. X axis, Y axis not necessary. Okay. So this is the line. What is its equation, uh, Madhuri? Sir, x cos 320 degrees plus y sin 320 degrees is equals to root 3. Root 3, correct. Suppose uh, x cos 45 degrees plus y sin 45 degrees is equal to minus 7 prabhas or sai vardhan prabhas or sai vardhan ah, prabhas or sai vardhan anybody please answer my questions is it in the normal form this equation yes or no no the equation is not in the normal form because normal form is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p p must be greater than 0 that is an important condition so here p is minus 7 that means it is not in the normal form now prabhas tell me sai vardhan sai vardhan are you there are you there in the classroom okay prabhas you answer my question x cos 45 plus y sin 60 degrees is equal to 5. Is it in the normal form? No. no. Why? Angles are different. Angles must be same. These angles are different so it is not in the normal form. So, first my question is uh, I'll remove this. Sorry. Ah. Okay, I have removed this. Okay, I remove this. Okay. Prabhas, uh, this equation is not in the normal form you said. Uh, okay, that is correct. It is uh, no. Answer is no. It is not in the normal form. But how to put it in the normal form? But this is a straight line. This is a valid equation of a straight line. It is, it represents some straight line. It is not an imaginary line. It is a real line. It represents some line in the xy plane. But how to put it in the normal form? We have to transfer, tra by transferring that minus sign to the left side, like this. Minus x cos, multiply both sides by minus sign. Minus x cos 45 minus y sin 45 minus y sin 45 is equal to 7 but still it is not in the normal form because normal form means no minus sign outside x cos some angle 
plus y sin same angle x cos some angle plus y sin same angle is equal to some positive number so how to remove these minus signs ah okay. oh, come on how x into uh, no no minus uh, say minus cos 45 is also not allowed minus should go into the angle yeah. outside it is not allowed come on tell me how what is the idea is so you want to write x cos 180 plus 45 okay Ah, uh, next what? Plus y sine 180 plus 45. That is correct. Very good idea. Is equal to seven because cos 180 plus theta is minus cos theta. Sine 180 plus theta is also minus sine theta. So without the uh, minus sine should not appear uh, outside because this is the normal form. No minus signs. Okay, same angle must be there, cos and sine. Okay, right side positive cancel. So this is. So how do you locate this line? Come on, Prabhas. One eighty plus forty five like this. This is one eighty up to here plus another forty five, forty five here. Then we have to draw a line. on that line this is the ray up to infinity how far should we go there you locate a point a seven units oa seven there you have to draw the perpendicular line then that is the line this line x cos 45 plus y sin 45 is equal to minus 7 or x cos 225 plus y sin 225 is equal to 7 okay okay students i think you have understood the normal form very clearly okay you have understood the normal form very clearly so next class we will deal with uh, uh, symmetric form or parametric form that is also very important form okay tomorrow we will meet again tomorrow is saturday is it not okay we will meet again stop share okay and and meeting for all and meeting for all